In Vizzle, you can assign lessons to one or more of your students and track them by tagging them to a skill or goal. To search our library for lessons, click Search Library from the main menu. Then use the various filters in the box to the left to search for lessons related to a specific skill or topic, as well as by grade, standard, and or keyword. You will need to select a specific level when searching as well. You can see the descriptions for each level when you click on the dropdown. Here, I'll search by math level one with a keyword of fractions. There are a lot of lessons in this search result, so I'll add a grade to my filters. Click apply and search again. You'll see we have two different ways to look at your search results. By curriculum topics, when available for your search options, as well as by individual lessons. The curriculum topics will provide you with all the lessons grouped together based on a related topic area in our curriculum. You can preview and assign lessons from a topic area right from this search results screen. Or you can click on a topic name, which will bring you into our curriculum. Here, you'll have access to all the lessons, assessments, lesson plans, and unit guides. You can also use the filters in the box to the left to move to another topic within the unit, a different unit, different grade altogether. You can then select some or all of the lessons and assign from this screen. Clicking on Search Library in the main menu will bring you back to your search results. The other way to view lessons based on your search criteria is by individual lessons. Clicking on that icon in the toolbar will allow you to view all of those lessons. Included in these lessons are all of those from our library, both those that are part of the curriculum and those standalone lessons. You can hover over a lesson card and click the I button to preview a lesson. This allows you to page through the lesson to see the content without needing to answer questions. Click Exit to go back to your search results. If you would like to assign the lesson, click on the lesson card away from the other buttons at the top of the card to select it. Selected lessons will be highlighted in orange. You can then continue previewing and selecting lessons until you feel you have enough content for your student. Once you're ready to assign the lessons, simply click the Assign button located under the toolbar. You'll be brought into the assignment options. Here, you can select either a date range or specific dates that you'd like the lessons to be available to the student. Vizzle allows you to assign up to 18 weeks. Your second step in assigning lessons is to decide if you would like either single or multiple play. When single play is selected, the lesson or lessons will be available during the date selected until the lessons are completed one time. The lessons will not be available to the student again unless it is reassigned. Multiple play allows the lessons to be played multiple times during the date selected. The third step is to order the lessons as you'd like them to be presented to the student for those students with any theme other than self-select chosen for them in their student settings. You can just drag and drop those lesson icons. The fourth step allows you to choose where the lessons will go. You can select all of your students or just one or a few students by checking the appropriate boxes. Once you have everything set, then save. We strongly recommend you save with custom tags. This will allow you to tag those lessons with the skill being addressed, which will make for easy and quick data viewing and filtering. By clicking Save Custom Tags, you can add a tag for data tracking. Click in the text box and begin typing the tag as you'd like it or select one of your other existing tags. For example, I can type a word or short phrase describing the skill being addressed. Here, I'll type equivalent fractions, or if for a student's specific IEP goal and objective, I might also want to add the goal to the tag, typing in, say, goal four, and then the year for the goal. You can create the tag however it works best for you. We do recommend keeping it fairly short, but still descriptive.
then click the blue plus to create it. Once you have your tag set, click Save, and the assignment process is complete. As I mentioned, these tags make data filtering a breeze, so let's go at the data page for our demo student. I'll select his name from the student dropdown, and here you'll see the data cards for any tag created for this student. You can see the equivalent fractions data card has been added. As the student begins to play those lessons, Vizzo will add data to the card. These tags can also be used to filter data from the detailed report page. Just use the Goals Objectives dropdown to select the tag and set any additional criteria you'd like and then click Submit. Back in our search results, if you'd like any additional information on any of the lessons, click on the More Options button in the top right corner of the lesson card to open the Details screen. Here you'll see all the options you have related to each lesson. Preview, Add to your resources, a share link to add the lesson to your learning management system, Add to group instruction. Under More Options, you can print or play the lesson. And then we have our Copy to Edit button as well as the Assign button. You'll see the full lesson description and any standards that the lesson aligns with. The standards displayed will reflect the state listed for your account. Then the subject area the lesson is assigned to along with the activity types included in this specific lesson. Happy visiting!